Welcome back everyone, it's your girl Jess and my sister Jo. Today's video, I want to show you how to easily... <laughs> do you need a moment? No, I'm good. Okay. Today's video is all about how to do a no makeup makeup look with acne prone skin and scarring. It's going to be super simple but I want to show you in depth how to do it and how to just leave the house looking like flawless skin. So let's get into the video. <coughs> so... <coughs> Okay, so she already has sunscreen on, so I'm gonna go in with my favorite cream. This is the Embryless E cream. I don't know, but it's really amazing. It's hydrating. Even if you have oily prone skin, you really wanna make sure you're hydrating because every skin type needs hydration. You always wanna make sure your hands are clean if you're ever using your hands. And I'm really just focusing on the cheeks as well as the rest of the face, but that's where she has most of her problematic skin. And now we're just going to rub in. Okay, now I'm just going to put on some <laughs> Now I'm going to get to put some lip balm on. I can get a bit more lips, they're quite hard trying to dehydrate <laughs> Always be generous. So, just testing out the skin to make sure it's good to apply product. Okay, now for acne, you don't actually need a green concealer. Now I know that might be a bit hard to believe because we see it always on TikTok and YouTube videos that you need a green concealer, but you don't necessarily need that if you have the right concealer and the right pattern. I'm gonna show you exactly how a drugstore concealer would work as opposed to a high-end concealer. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to do the high-end. On this side, I'm gonna do drugstore. It doesn't really matter about the product. It matters about how you use it. A little bit about the product, but we'll get into that. So I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in shade I was gonna say money, but it's in Mohen. Medium, oh my God, I'm reading the wrong side. I have a more in-depth course about this. If you guys wanna check it out, I will leave all the links down below, including my free cheat sheet teaching you tips and tricks about makeup. So I'm going in with that much, probably way too much, but that's okay. And I'm just taking it on this flat brush. I'll get even this way. And what I'm doing is I'm very lightly starting to stamp that on the pimples. You don't need to go around the whole face. A little bit of product. The key is to really find a concealer that is basically the same shade as your skin. You don't have to take this step if you don't have dark circles, but I like to correct it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna start by blending it out. I'm really just lightly, can you see how I'm holding the brush? Very lightly, I'm just doing tapping motions. I'm not rubbing the product, I'm just tapping it down. And do you see how it's almost the same color as her skin? She's got in the tan, so it really helps me in that way. Now I do wanna say, that when you do have pimples, you can cover them, but they still will show the mark if it's like over the surface. So don't be discouraged if you feel like your skin doesn't look smooth like a baby's bum. There's only so much you can do with makeup, but it does make a really big difference. This is that side done. If you feel like you want to cover a little bit more, that's why I always start off light. You can just go in with a little bit of product and just very lightly tap that on. Very lightly. So that's one side done. Wow, what a difference. So I'm just taking a different brush as well just to prove to you that I'm not, you know. And I'm doing the same technique by Standing that on her face. So that's this side done. 
Now with the same brush, again, I'm taking off the excess and I'm gonna start by pounding that in. I always use side by side, yeah. So which side do you prefer? Now, that is one step. You can leave it like this. I would put a little bit of powder underneath, either the Maybelline Fit Me or Laura Mercier. But if you wanna take it up a notch, let me show you exactly what to do. This is one of my favorite powders. You can also use a powder foundation. I'll, I like the La Mascua and the cover effects. So what this is gonna do is it already has a bit of color in it. So any of that little bit of color that's beaming out, it will definitely dye with this on top. So you get a powder puff and the key is to really push the product in. You don't want to wipe, you want to be pushing it in. So just push down. I'll do one side and then I'll show you the difference. You don't need a lot. When you take it, I like to just like tap it on the back of my hand just to make sure I don't have a lot. And I'm really just pressing that in. I don't go back in again when I do the cheeks. So let me show you this side and then the other side. Beautiful. You don't need to do the whole face. If you want a more dewy look, you can definitely keep it. But I just feel like if you want something, especially in spring or summer, that's gonna last you all day, this will definitely be the way. So I'll show you quickly on this side. You can do the under eyes, for example. And then with whatever's left over, if you still want that shine, just really lightly dab. And do you see how you can still see that shine in her skin? So you can definitely leave it like that. And it will still powder, hydrate. Because there's still powder on here. Might be a little bit, but there still is. And there you have it. Your everyday makeup look. I would leave the gloss on, brush up the eyebrows. I'll quickly do that now. You don't even need mascara. You can put mascara on if you want, but this is like a look that people will kind of have to look twice or three times to be like, does she have makeup on or is it just her gorgeous skin? I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more looks like this and more videos like this in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye queens.